There's a way to eat. And I don't want to do a meetup, I want to do a conference. I said, Dan, you are very ambitious. Who are we going to start for? I said, no, we have been doing meetup, 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 meetup. Let's do conference. I said, it. I looked at all the things we had. I looked at the little leverage we were able to build over the past two years, starting this. I said, okay, but what is it going to take to do a conference? What do we need? What are the things we need? And we started putting things together. And um, please, I want everybody to give a round of applause to this amazing team. This amazing team of guys. Even if they are distracted, they are still watching. <laughs> so um, it took a lot of planning, it took a lot of sleepless nights for these guys here. Um, it took a lot of meetings, of arguments, okay? Um, and when Kobus came to Nigeria for the first time, for AWS startup, he gave us an idea, and his idea was that, don't worry, the next time we go, <laughs> we because one of the problems we had, or I had, was how do we plan something like this? Because we planned it before, but the good thing was we're always in a single place, okay? We worked in a single company, which was there at and it was quite easy, you know, we can bounce this around, do this, you do that. But one year later, we are all not in the same company anymore. And I'm like, wow, where are we going to start from? Okay. Not that we don't trust each other, we do. But you know, we are not in the same building with someone. Communication is a problem, it's a very big problem. And then I meet Kobo, they say, Kobo's one to a conference. How are we going to organize communication? Kobo says, Trello is free. You guys use Trello. I said, okay, one idea. And then I went back to there and said, Daniel, we need to use Trello to manage our work and all. Good enough, during this period, in my new organization, I'm trying to get into the agile whole stuff, I'm trying to get deep into agile, like really deep into agile. Um, for the first time, I have, I'm having to be like an engineer and a project manager at the same time. So, Trello made a lot of sense to me, what to propose. So I went to Daniel and said, Daniel, this is the best Trello. And Daniel said, okay. We can do Trello, we can do weekly stand-ups, if there's anything like that. So stand-ups happen every, every Sunday night at 9 p.m. on Zoom. You need to be in some of those meetings. Come and see <laughs> how it goes, you know. You see the way everybody in the team was talking with passion. No, let's do this, no, let's do that. No, this is going to work, this is not going to work. People bringing in their ideas, people bringing in their money from their pockets to say, I will do this with my money. That, at that moment, I knew that something more was driving all of us. So it, it, it wasn't about um, talking so much, it wasn't about anything, it was just about making this community grow and showing the world the stuff we are doing in Lagos in Nigeria. Um, painting a new picture for us and also helping the local community to grow. Um, part of our goals is to help people who don't have an idea about DevOps account to come in, to understand, to grow, and to be the best at what they do. Okay? And we believe that meetings like this, having a community, having people who have been in this field for two, three, four, five, six, seven years, will be a help step in stone. There's someone I always follow on, on, the, on, on YouTube. I'm sure some of us know him very well, Dan Lok. Dan Lok talks about the power of a mentor. Okay, it, it, it changes the way you approach every single thing. You're going to take you 10 steps to do something. When you have a mentor, you're going to spend four steps or three steps. That alone is a time saver, it's a money saver, it's an energy saver. So part of the goal of this community is right here, we have everybody sitting here. Enthusiasts, experts, hobbyists, students, software engineers, project managers, CEOs, CTOs, anybody. What's the goal? The goal here is there must be something that is just in the air. But we don't want it to be in the air, we want to contain it. We want people to understand what it is. We want people to see the value behind it. We want people to be able to connect with someone. If you say you are doing DevOps, there should be certain things that should drive your principles, your concepts. And where else better to get that than a community of people who are doing this actively in their daily jobs? 
So the speakers are going to be today are people who left software engineering and moved into the DevOps platform. Some people are going to be today are people who have been system administrators for the past six, seven years and they've been doing amazing stuff where they work. Some of the brands you get their brands you see every day. So we want you to be able to connect that these things they, they talk about, the videos you watch, the things you hear, the, the most words you read about and articles all over the globe on medium and all, they are actually happening here with you in Lagos, Nigeria. They are not stories, they are not fashions, they are not junk. People are actually building this stuff and they are using these principles, these technologies, these techniques to scale and grow businesses in millions and millions of customers globally. Oh, sorry, within Nigeria, actually. And then some of them are actually scaling up globally. Um, so, one more time, please give a round of applause to the amazing team that made this come together. Um, um, you guys are very amazing. Um, thank you very much. And also for the guests too. Thank you very much for making our time. We're expecting more people. We hope that this engagement will be very insightful, will be very entertaining too, and will also leave, help you live here with more than you came with. Now, we'll be sharing some of the links to do for registration and for the streaming. So if you have friends who want to join in and cannot be here physically for some any other reasons, engagement out of the country and all that, um, please you can share the link with them. And one more thing that I also want to see, and I also want to congratulate us for. Um, sometime in September, that was September, September, October, the community growth. Sometime in September, October, something happened. I really didn't observe. Um, the group in WhatsApp, we have a group in WhatsApp, I'm sure we all know about that very well. We have a group in WhatsApp. All of a sudden, our numbers were. WhatsApp has a limit of 250 members, 250 users. And for some reason, some people call me and say, please add me to the group. And I add them, and I think for some reason, WhatsApp doesn't give me notification that the group is full or, so, or something. Or some people try to add some people and they say the group is full. For some reason, I just ignore the message and say, what's this guy saying? But it came to our analysis when, for a week, I don't know what we did that week, there was a lot of awareness or something. And a lot of people wanted to join, and somebody said, we are able to add more people. I said, what's going on? Are we actually more than 250? And actually, it was true. And because of that, we had to move to Tehran. Tell him. Tell him around. So please, that's another round of applause to the community. It means that we are growing, it means that we are pushing bounds. If WhatsApp will not continue us, we are going to Telegram. It means that we are actually huge. So at the moment, we are still trying to migrate from WhatsApp to Telegram. A lot of people still don't WhatsApp group, but they don't want to leave WhatsApp group at all. They are stuck there. They say, no, I'm not leaving WhatsApp. I'm going to remain in WhatsApp. And I'm like, come on, guys, can you move to Telegram? Let, 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 let's continue to fall there. So, so but, but the joy here for me and for the rest of us on the team is that the community is growing, the community is engaging. And I'm sure a lot of people get their questions answered in the group. A lot of people are getting better because of the group. A lot of people have problems. I see people posting production problems in the group. I'm like, my server is down. Please, somebody rescue me. And you see people come in to say, okay, have you tried this? Have you tried that? Have you tried this? Have you tried that? That's the idea behind community. That's the idea behind mentorship. That's the idea behind growing together. Because this knowledge is not democratized with one person. It is all about the place. But some people have gone the extra mile to get this. So having to learn on that, there's a saying that it's good to stand on what shoulders of giants. Having to stand on top of these guys helps you advance your career better. Um, someone else will come to talk about our group and, our, and how far we've gone. I'm just giving us tips and bits to, to get us prepared for him. Um, since 